Compression molding starts with a rubber compound or mixed raw material, preform, which is roughly the shape of the finished product. The preform should contain a bit more material than the end product needs to ensure a total cavity fill. With the preform in place, the mold is closed, applying heat and pressure to the preform so it fills the cavity. Excess preform material spills into the overflow grooves. The rubber is then removed from the mold, usually by hand. Now we have our finished molded rubber product. Compression molding works best for medium hardness compounds in low volume production. It may also be used in applications requiring expensive materials, since it minimizes overflow created during the molding process. Rubber preforms can be difficult to insert into more complex mold designs, and hard rubber compounds don't do as well in the compression molding process. So, the benefits of compression molding are, it's cost-effective tooling, you'll get maximized cavity count, and it's an economical process for medium precision. Compression molding can be a cost-effective solution when, having rubber industries manufacture the tooling, the cross-section of the part is very large and requires a long cure time. Compression molding is used for anything from simple belts to complex diaphragms with diameters of more than 10 inches. If compression molding isn't the best fit for your project, Rubber Industries can offer a variety of other molded rubber products through injection or transfer molding.